by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Illustrator CC 2014, and you can do the same in uh, CC, CS6, etc., PC or Mac, I'm going to show you how you can use artboards and type to basically create cut up type. Now, what I need is actually, I could of course use more than one or two or three artboards, but I'm just going to go for two at this point. Let's go to the artboard tool over here, and I'm just going to I want that, so I'm just going to cancel that, and I'm just going to create another artboard. So there's another artboard, and basically what I want is a nice cut. I don't want to actually create the uh, artboard next door to it exactly. I just want it just with a slight cut. So when you actually look over here in the navigator, you can actually see the break in the word now. So I'm just going to. Obviously change that. Now, of course, it's not very uh, useful if you've actually just got type and you just want it. Unfortunately, you can't rotate artboards, but of course you can rotate the type. So you can actually just rotate the type. And again, you can see now the cut in the, the type. Right, once you've actually done that, you can go over to File and Export. What I'm just going to do is save it as a PNG file. I'm going to use artboards, that's a key thing. Always remember to actually set that. Use all and I'm going to save it as type.png. So export, I'm going to go for 72 PPPI and just going to quickly save those. And what happens, you'll actually I'll just go to the finder and that's how you use, it works with PC as well. So I'm obviously just doing it on the Mac, but um, you've got two files there now. If you actually click on there, you'll actually see part of it and part of that. Of course, you just go back to Illustrator, and I'm just going to go back there, and I can say place, I'm going to place one of them, place, just click that, I'll just drag that over, and also I can now say place the other one as well. So I'm just going to select, of course you could use it in Photoshop, I mean you don't have to, uh, I'm just using it in Illustrator, but you don't have to do that, and you can just move that across. So you can keep it in the same sort of position, just move it like that. Just come out of that as well, isolation mode, don't want that. Okay, there you have it, you've got a quick and easy way of creating cut up type. Hope you found this of interest.